Hey guys, it's Vera. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm going to be doing a haul video for you guys. I have two broken nails. Sorry, I'm not flipping you off. I'm flipping you off. I'm flipping you off. Two broken nails. I'm so tired of breaking my nails. It's the same ones over and over again. It's like, why don't you just get extra acrylic on it? Or Hi guys, I'm here. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm going to be doing a shoe haul. A public desire shoe haul. Yes. Yes. Last month, they had a sale on, I think it was like 50% off or it was like 20, 40% off. Yeah, it was like 40% off. So yeah, they were having a sale. I was like, huh. I really want, I've been wanting a pair of like over the knee shoes for like the longest. But I was, you know, if you're going to get over the knee shoe, that means extra fabric that needs to be made into the shoe and all this kind of stuff. And it was just like, the prices on it were pretty expensive. Like, it was probably like $60, $70, $80 to get a decent over the, uh, over the knee shoe. So, I saw this. I've been wanting to try Public Desire for like the longest because I've been seeing it everywhere on YouTube, on Instagram, and all this kind of stuff. So, I was like... Okay, let me try this out because when it comes to Instagram and YouTube, I don't really like pay attention to people's reviews because I know it can be very biased or it can be like sponsored. So it's like there's only like a handful of people I trust when it comes to reviews. And I wasn't disappointed. I really wasn't. Um, should I just go ahead and start with the bad? Okay, so a breakdown. I bought three pairs of shoes. I bought this beige. They're all in the same style. They're called Stella or Dominique. And I bought these velvet ones. My absolute fave, these khaki ones. I'm a size 9 in women's, by the way, which is 7 in UK. So the price breakdown, I spent, subtotal was $164.97 with shipping and handling, which is $10. And then with the discount code, everything came out to be $141.97. Uh, uh, Each shoe cost $54.99, so if you just divide that by three, that's like $47. So that's actually not bad. I'm pretty happy. If I would have paid $54, $55 for these shoes, then I would have had a problem. Let me just go ahead and start with the bag. Look at my boxes. Boxes or did or did or did it bro? I, I don't know if you do this too, but when I get like cool looking boxes or like cute looking boxes, I like to display them up in my like vanity room. I know that's not a big thing, but it's kind of like I know that's not a big thing, but that's just like my thing. No, it came through UP USPS, so it's just like really USPS, really. You couldn't handle my boxes with care. Even though they were a pair of shoes, you like couldn't do the extra effort. And it's probably not their fault either. It probably just got squished and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I just kind of don't like that because you see all this stuff with um, FedEx and USPS and UPS and all that kind of stuff. Like them mishandling boxes. And it makes you just kind of think like, did you mishandle my box or was it just by accident? So yeah, that's just... Okay, so another thing I didn't like was that normally when you're going to a website, they'll always have like a free shipping option. I didn't like that this one didn't include a free shipping. It's like all the stuff that I don't like, it's just like, you sound so stingy and shit. You sound cheap as fuck, you know? You like, you just sound like you gotta do all this and that to just make you happy. Now, it's not like that, but it's just like I was thinking, I was thinking of it as a consumer point of view but it's like normally if you spend a certain amount of money a website or a business or whatever will be like spend this much more and you can have free shipping you can have free standard shipping or you can have free express shipping or you can upgrade to express shipping rather than having standard shipping they don't give you that option to get shipping and all that kind of stuff is ten dollars to get express shipping is fifteen dollars there's no if ands or buts about it so it's just kind of like I look at it as a consumer point of view because if I'm spending like $150 or almost $200 to buy something, I'm going to feel better about buying it if I get free shipping too. So really everything I bought was $131. Yeah, $131 rather than $141. That includes the shipping. 
I feel okay with everything I have now, but I would feel a lot better if that shipping wasn't tacked on there either. You know, the more, the less amount something seems, the better, you know? Like, a, another thing, where is it? But the shoe came to me dirty. I don't mean like they had dirt all over them and all this kind of stuff, they look like they've been worn. What it was is, it's just like on the fabric and stuff like there, you can see like dirt spots and stuff on it. And it's just like, these are a brand, these are a brand new pair of shoes and how is it dirty already? They just got to me. Like I have yet to wear these. I just took them out the box. It's not like I took them outside in the dirt. But yeah, if you can see that and then it's somewhere else on the shoe, but I don't feel like looking for it. But yeah, it's just, it kind of looks like, how is it already dirty? So I just figured it was because it got sent back and um, like it got sent back for someone else they didn't like it and I just feel like that was just kind of like a mistake on their um, on public desires part because I personally don't like the hill I feel like the chill look, uh, the chill I feel like the hill looks really cheap again it's not a big thing to me because like there are a bunch of ways to repaint hills or refurbish hills so it's not a big thing and then also it's like I ordered it all in the same style so of course I'm going to get the same heel for every single pair of shoe I bought in this style. So like I said it's not a big thing but I feel like the shoe, the heel looks really cheap to me. Like in person it looks really cheap to me. And I know people aren't looking at your heel like that, they're just looking at the shoe itself but it's just, I feel like Forever 21 could have did better than this. <laughs> for the price, you're like you're paying $55 for this. I feel. Forever 21 could have did better than this. The last one, I promise, that I don't like about the shoes is the fabric. Now, I'm not saying like the fabric and all that kind of stuff looks cheap or anything like that. I'm saying, I've been seeing on Instagram talking about, oh, these shoes are so stretchy and stuff like that. Like, girl, yes, they can even fit a big woman's thigh or something like that. I don't know what you're talking about. I kind of know what you're talking about, but I don't know what you're talking about completely because I got the same style shoe in almost the same fabric except for the velvet and one is stretchy one is really stretchy one is stretchy one is really freaking tight neat really tight stretchy and then really stretchy I can barely fit these over my pants the whole reason why I bought these were to wear over pants for the winter and stuff like that and I can barely fit these on. I can put over my pants really easy like no problem. If I put them over my pants depending on how thick my pants are they'll just slide down like I can't wear these without any pants or anything like that. I can't wear these under a skirt because they slide down. But these, I don't know maybe I need to wear them more to stretch out the fabric but it's like how do you get three different pairs of shoes and they all stretch differently. See how tight that is. See, I just showed you that they stretch like they're not the same. It's like somebody has worn these and stretched them out and returned them. How am I supposed? Well, I guess it's like I could like cut the excess fabric off and resole it to actually fit my thigh. But it's like that's so much extra work. Like again, they should have checked that and noticed that, you know. So the good thing is the shoe is really cute and that's about it. Well shipping got here in like 11 days so yeah that's kind of expected for something coming across the seas from the UK and stuff like that that's really expected. Paid for what I got you know that's how it feels like I was looking for a cheap pair of shoes and I got a cheap pair of shoes <laughs> so yeah. Um, how they feel. They feel like any pair of heels. They're like, they feel nice into you. Not even they feel nice. It's just, it's when you start walking in them, if you're not used to wearing heels all the time and stuff like that, like me, I barely wear heels. I only have like two pairs of heels, three pairs of heels in my closet. <laughs> so yeah, I barely wear heels. And it's like, when it comes to me wearing it, it's just like, oh goodness gracious. Oh, how am I gonna make it through the day? I have to really decide if I want to wear these if I want to wear these heels like if I'm gonna be sitting down a lot I don't mind wearing the heels but if I'm gonna be standing oh no I can't do this I can't I gotta sit like no I'm not wearing these heels 
-mm. So yeah, that is my review for the Pumpkin Zari Hills. I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.